morning everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a very late video but i'm going to be talking about all the books i read in the month of may I usually do my wrap up the first weekend of the next month but for some reason this this month and last month was just kind of crazy a lot was going on my sister graduated i turned 21 i got in a car accident i don't know started working moved into my first apartment um just a lot of things so i want to apologize for this being late but uploads should be pretty regular for the rest of the summer um i have some fun videos planned hopefully they all come to fruition fruition but anyways we're just gonna hop into this video this is probably going to be a shorter one um but yeah i'm just gonna talk about all the books i read last month first book i read was actually meet me at the lake by carly fortune or fortune i always say her last name so weird and i don't know why I was okay see for this book I had pre-ordered it so I read it this was the first book I read of the month and I had pre-ordered it knowing I liked every summer after but also acknowledging the fact that every summer after was a complete ripoff of love in other words and so I feel like me being disappointed by this book is just a reflection that I don't know if she is a good writer and I know that's a very strong statement but I'm like her first book that did very well was not an original idea like literally everything but the reason why they broke up was the exact same and I'm surprised Christina Lauren didn't uh sue for like plagiarism but anyways that's a, besides the point because I don't want to I will probably read more from her to give her a chance but something about this book just like was not good like I would not recommend it. I, I do like Every Summer After. I think I rated that one five stars, but this one, three stars probably. You know, I honestly maybe would even rate it less than that, but three stars seems fair. Um, it was good, but it just like wasn't that good, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Um, and they just, her characters in this were just not likable and that's all I have to say. So sorry, I will give her another chance, but for some reason this book just wasn't it for me book I read was Cleopatra and Frankenstein and I rated this one four stars. I read this for my video um, that's like randomly picking my TBR. I finally read it. This was on my January TBR and I finally read it in May. I actually really liked this. This was a contemporary fiction novel with a little bit of romance but it was more just like self-discovery, talking about addiction, um, relationships, not just romantic. We had a lot of good representation in this um, novel, which I thought was good. And yeah, it, for a debut novel, I thought it was incredible. I thought I had rated it five stars, but now that I'm looking at it, I rated it four stars. So I'm kind of surprised because I was expecting to see that I had rated it five stars. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this one and I'm really glad that I finally read it. I actually read the entire Inheritance Games uh, trilogy so I rated the first and second one both five stars I don't have the third one yet because it hasn't come out in paperback but I rated that one four stars I have been wanting to read this because I've heard so much about it um, it's a YA mystery it has like a love triangle in it love triangles typically aren't my favorite but I did like it I I'm team Grayson I feel like a lot of people are team Grayson but what can you do um but yeah that's kind of it about that I'm not going to talk too much I just think the last one was it just it felt not the same as the others like it felt like this could have been a duology if this book had just wrapped up or this book had wrapped up a little bit quicker but she didn't and so she added an entire different book that didn't really make sense and I actually read seven myths about singleness this one is really good I think I read it at four I did it three and a half um, and honestly I said I feel like it would have hit harder if it was written by a woman. I'm not saying the book is bad but just like as a woman um, when talking about singleness I think it would have impacted me differently if, if it was coming from a woman's perspective versus a male perspective um, and that again like not, not trying to um, like discredit this author at all because again he he did a very good job but I just feel like if it had been written by a woman it definitely would have been like a four star so anyways I only have one book left are you can you believe it and this is actually a five star book I think the only five star book of well I guess besides these but I finally read Sarah J Moss's House of Earth and Blood 
oh my gosh this book actually made me sob and i never i always say like oh this made me tear up this made me tear up this literally made me cry and i was on the edge of my seats everyone talks about how this book is spicy though there was there was two scenes and they don't even have sex in it so if you're not wanting to deal with spicy this book i i think is fantastic i have started the third one or the second book and it is a little bit more spicy but if you're wanting to get into sarah j moss I, I just, I 100% recommend it. She is amazing in my opinion. Um, but yeah, five stars. That's all the books I read this month. I know it's a very short video. I apologize, but I will have a lot more book content as well as some vlogs. So I will see you guys very soon. Peace and